do monoblocks help in a home theater situation? That's a different question for us. Stefan in the UK asks it, and he says, Hey Paul, would monoblocking a home theater system be of any benefit, uh, and, and, and if they were balanced as well? Uh, I enjoy watching your videos. Regards, Stefan from Oxford in the United Kingdom, a place that I will be traveling to very shortly on a sort of a family vacation, which sounds kind of fun. I'm excited about it. So, well, yes and no. Let, let's, let's kind of break it down. In a home theater system, we have multi-channel sound, usually five at a minimum, and oftentimes, like in my home theater, you've got like 12 channels in the Dolby Atmos system. And now I understand there's even a new, uh, I don't know how many channels are in this, this latest uh, <laughs> incarnation, but it, it's gonna be even more. So would monoblocks help? Well, certainly not in the effects channel, as they're called. So your, your uh, surround speakers, the ones up to the side, in the ceiling, in the rear. Now, I think that would be a big waste of money, and I, I would not encourage anyone. I don't care how wacky you are, and hey, look, we're, we're, we get pretty wacky here. Don't, don't waste your money on it. Get a, get a decent 12-channel amplifier or a 5-channel or a 7-channel. Like I have, I use uh, my buddy Dan Loftman's company called Emotiva, and Emotiva makes some great amplifiers. And uh, I, I use his 5-channel and, and his 7-channel to create my 12 channels. But one of the things that I will be doing is swapping out Dan's channels for the center, the left, and the right for our amplifier, which is called an M700. It's a, it's a monoblock amplifier. So I'm going to be adding three monoblocks to my system at home. And the reason is because those channels, the left, the center, and the right, are where 90%, I'm just pulling that out of the air, okay? I don't say, well, it's actually 80%. The, the, the majority of activity that you actually care about where the quality of sound really matters comes out of the left center and the right. Now their monoblocks make a great deal of sense. The other thing I want to bring up is, and, and I think people pay too little attention to this, the surround processor itself. You might go out and you buy a Sony receiver or, you know, whatever you're going to get. That device, whether it's a receiver, which is an all-in-one thing, including the amplifiers, which I don't use. I use a separate AV processor, and they're getting fewer and farther between, but mine's a Marantz, and I'm gonna upgrade. Emotiva has a beautiful processor that Dan Lofman has, has invested literally millions of dollars in developing, and it, it is, oh, man. I'm on his short waiting list. It better be short, Dan. <laughs> you promised me I'm going to get one of the first ones, but I'm really excited about that. But that is where a big part of sound quality comes from. And in my, I, I, I carefully chose that Marantz, and I went through a whole bunch of, of different AV processors because inside of a processor, not only do you have the steering, which is the Dolby or THX, whatever kind of steering mechanism you're gonna to have to separate the, from the data stream all the various channels. And when they say steer it, they're, they're talking about the logic that puts it over to the top channel or to the side channel or the rear channels or the subwoofer, right? And once that digital signal is steered in the right direction, then it has to go through a D to A converter. And well, I mean, look, this is what we do. We make D to A converters and transports, and I know the importance of a good D to A converter. It is critical, and if I could, I would take you know six of our direct streams and line them up in my home theater and use those. But it's just out of the question from a practical standpoint. I mean. Uh, even getting the digital out is difficult. So that said, you want to pay attention 
to your surround processor. And then once you have the best surround processor you can get, go balanced. My whole system is balanced and I would recommend it for you as well. And make sure that the left, the center, and the right loudspeakers are powered with as much and as good of a monoblock amplifier as your budget will allow because you will not regret it. Oh, and don't forget the subs. Gotta have subs. Good subs. Big subs. Lots of subs. Gotta like that bass. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.